Greetings, peace, love, and wellness, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. I am Samari of Ready to Enlighten. And today we are officially on day 22 of my 30 days, 30 minutes a day yoga challenge. I'm so excited with all the new subscribers and everyone who's joining on into this challenge. If you're ready to begin, grab your mat and let's get started. Today we'll start off with sun breathing. But let's go to the top of the mat and get some clearing breaths. Here, we'll plant both feet onto the mat, arms out to the side. Here, we'll take a moment to take some deep inhales. Just inhale through the nostrils. Exhale through the breath. Again, another deep inhale. And exhale completely. One more deep inhale, allowing ourselves to bring ourselves to the present moment. Inhale. And exhaling completely. Is there anything that happened before the practice or anything you have to do after the practice? Right now, we're being focused and present into our body. And if you would like to take a moment and set an intention, whether that's to be, be more present or whatever that intention may be, just see it right now in your mind, visualize it. And once you visualize it, allow it to receive in your body as if it's already done. Then we'll take an inhale, lifting our arms up towards the sky, reaching through the fingertips, spreading the ring fingertips wide. If you want to take a slight back bend here. So exhale, we'll hinge from the hip, diving down towards the mat. Fingertips touching the mat, breathing here. And if you want to go ahead here and fold our arms, allowing our head to hang even heavy like a rag doll. Allow ourselves to have a slight bend in the knees and allow ourselves to fold even more on ourselves. You want to gently rock from side to side, loosening up the hips, neck into our side bodies. Let the head hang heavy. Let's come back to center if you were rocking and release our hands back to the mat. Then come up halfway, bringing our hands to our shin, flat back, looking forward. Exhale, we release our hands back to the mat. Then we'll inhale again, reaching up, hinging from the hip all the way, reaching our hands up towards the sky, hard lifted. Chest lifted. If you want to take a slight back bend again here, feel free. Then we'll bring our hands together and the prayer mudra above our head and channel all that energy down into the center of our heart space. Taking a deep inhale. Exhaling, receiving all that energy. Even all that love. We'll do that again. We'll take a deep inhale, hinge in front of him, raising our hands to the sky. Exhale, diving down towards the mat. Letting our fingertips touch the mat. Inhale, we'll bring our hands to our shin, flatten our back and looking forward. Exhale, releasing our hands back to the mat. Breathing here. Then we'll inhale, hinging from the hip, rising back up all the way high, powerfully, reaching our hands towards the sky. Feel free to take that back bend again here. Bringing our hands back to center, bringing it to that prayer mudra and channel all that energy down into our heart space. Taking a deep inhale. 
Exhale and release. Yes. Beginning to open up the shoulders and begin to warm in the heart. We'll do that a little bit more. So we'll go a little bit deeper. And we'll inhale, reaching up towards the sky. Exhale, diving down towards the floor. This time we'll plant the palm of our hands to the mat, bending at the knees, stepping our legs back, coming onto the tippy toes on our feet, keeping our hands into a high plank. Then we'll lower our whole body down to the mat, releasing the front of our body to the mat, keeping our hands planted into the mat. Then we'll push ourselves up with our hands, lifting the chest and back off the floor into cobra pose. Breathing here. Then we'll bend our knees, bringing the foot closest to the back of the body. And we'll release our knee then. And if we want to look over to that right shoulder, twisting on that right side. Then come back to center, then twisting open, looking over that left shoulder. And then we'll come back on pressing our hands back, coming back into all four, coming on our knees. Untuck our toes, pushing our weight up, the hips up into that downward dog. Breathing here, turning ourselves into upside down V. Walking our knees out, bend one, straighten the other. Inhaling, exhaling. We'll stay here for five breaths. Feel free to walk it out or just plant your feet. Just really stretching the back. Listening to your body will feel good. We're pressing ourselves against the mat. Creating a resistance, strong in our legs, strong in our arms. Breathe, two more breaths. And our next inhale, we'll step, we'll walk our feet up in between our arms. Folding here. Coming up halfway again, I flat back looking forward. Exhale, folding back down. Then we'll inhale, take a swoop in arms, hinging from the hip, rising up powerfully. And again, if you want to take that back bend, then we'll come back to center and release, and our hands down to the side. Back into Dasana, back in this mountain pose. Chest lifted, shoulders back. That felt good. We'll do that one more time. So make it your best. We'll take a deep inhale, lifting up our hands. Exhale, folding down towards that mat. When we get to the mat, we'll plant our hands to the mat, stepping our feet back into that high plank pose. Then lowering our entire body down to that mat. Keeping our hands planted. Push up on those hands into cobra pose. Lifting the chest. Shoulders back. Breathing here. Then we'll bend those knees. Bringing those feet closest toward the back of the body. Breathing for a deeper stretch. Releasing those legs. And go ahead and twist to the right. Looking over that right shoulder. Coming back to center. And twisting open, looking over that left shoulder. And releasing. Then pushing ourselves back onto all four so we can untuck those toes and shift our hips up into the air, into that downward dog. Go ahead and walk yourself out. Pressing against that mat. Keeping the back flat. Breathing here. Bending our knees, straighten the one, just walk it out. Do what feels good to your body, stretching that back. Receive. Stay here for five breaths. And 
bend your neck. Inhale, we'll step, walk, or jump our feet up in between our palms. Holding here. And we'll come up halfway, flat back, and looking forward. Then we'll release our hands back to the mat. Then we'll inhale, reaching up high towards the sky. And again, if you want to take that back bend, go as deep as you feel good. Exhale, coming back to center. And releasing our arms out to the side. And here we're back into Dasana, mountain pose, strong in our body. Breathing here, we're receiving, catching our breath, feeling that energy. And we're going to step this left leg back, turning it side towards the side of the mat, keeping that right leg forward, creating a bend in that right leg. Then we'll extend our hands up, reaching again through the fingertips. Bending in that knee into warrior one pose. Allowing us to feel strong in our body, strong in our structure. Then we'll turn our gaze sideways. Extending our arms sideways into warrior two pose. Bringing a deeper bend in our knee. Then we'll release this right hand onto that right knee and extend this left hand up for that side angle. Breathing here. Earn ourselves like a slant, like a geometric shape here. Breathing. Then we'll go ahead and bring this right hand up and pretend like we got an imaginary ball in our arms and we're just holding, tapping into our core, tapping into our structure, breathing here. We'll be here for three breaths. And when you're ready, we'll release our hands to the side, step that left foot back up. And then we'll get the opposite side. Stepping that right leg back. Turning that right leg, slant it. Having that left leg pointed forward towards the mat. And we stand our hands up, reaching, breathing, bending in that knee into this warrior one pose. Then we'll extend our gaze sideways, strong in our body, creating a deeper bend and then left knee, breathing here. And we'll drop this left hand onto that left knee, extending that right hand up, turn ourselves into a slant, a heel. A geometric shape, whatever feels good to you. Stretching it out here. Breathing. Allow your breath to lead you in these poses. Feeling the energy from the tip of our toes to the fingers up to the tip of the, from the tip of our toes to the tip of these fingertips. Breathe. And if you want to go deeper, go ahead and extend this left hand up and create it like a imaginary beach ball we hold in. Tapping into that core. Strong in our body. Strong in our stance. Breathing here. Here for three breaths. And we're ready. We'll release our arms and step that right leg up. We'll walk that out. Then we'll go ahead and step that left foot back again. This time we'll come on into a knee on that left side. 
keeping that right knee bent. Again, we'll lift our hands up, reaching up towards the sky. Then we'll take a bend at the elbows, open the back, open the chest. Here we're connecting into that heart chakra. Breathing here. Then we'll bring this left hand to that right outer knee and extend this right hand back as if we're trying to reach something behind us. Twisting open here. And then we'll come back to center and come onto the heel on this right leg. It's half splits. And we'll walk our hands down as if we're folding onto this right leg. Breathe here. Stretching that hip back out. Then we're gonna plant this right foot back down to the mat. Then we're gonna untuck our toes on that left back foot and lift ourselves up into a lunge pose. Having both feet pointed forward. Then we're gonna get our, um, then we're gonna extend our hands up, reaching again through the fingertips. More strength in our legs. We'll bend at the elbow again. Opening ourselves up. Then we'll bring our hands in front of us in that prayer mudra and twist open, bringing his left elbow to that right outer knee. Twisting open. Breathe here. Two more breaths. And we'll release our hands to the mat. Come back down on that left knee. Walk our hands on the inside of that right knee. Bring that right knee behind us. And we'll extend this left knee up. Breathing here. And we'll stand our arms up, reaching up towards the sky. Then bend at the elbow. Open the chest, open in the back, receiving, expanding. Then we'll bring that right hand to the outer right left knee and twist open on the left side further open in the back giving our internal organs a hug Then we'll come back to center, coming on the heel on that left side, extending this left leg straight, and walking our hands down into that half split. Then we'll plant that left leg down. Then untuck that toe on that right foot. Coming on the tip of the toes. And then we'll hand from the hip rising up. Strong in our body. Breathing here. Then we'll bend at the elbows, open up further.
Then we'll close our hands in that prayer mudra and twist open that right elbow to that left knee. And when you're ready, release both hands down. Come onto your knees. Untuck that other knee. Tuck that other knee behind us. Plant both hands to the mat. Untuck our toes and we'll go back into downward dog here. Breathing. Walking ourselves out. And we'll keep our left foot planted to the mat. Extend this right leg into the air, stretching up high, breathing. Then we'll bring this right knee to the chest and release that right knee to the mat. And walking this left leg back, straight back. To sit back on this, open our hips, sit back. Breathing here in pigeon pose. Allowing our hips to relax to the floor or wherever you're at. Just breathe here. Then we'll walk our hands on the inside, left side. Grab a hold of this left foot. See if we can bring that left foot towards us. A deeper stretch. Then we release that left leg, walking our hands towards the front of the mat. And releasing our head to the mat. And when we're ready, we'll plant both hands to the side. Untuck our toe on that left side. Extend his right leg back. Back into downward dog. We'll walk that out. So we can get the opposite side. And when you're ready, we'll keep that right leg planted. Extending this left leg into the air. Bring it all the way out. And bring that left knee to the chest and release it to the mat. Extending this right leg back. Walking ourselves back. Releasing the hips to the mat. Then we'll walk our hands on the inside towards this right leg. See if we can grab a hold of that right leg. Twist it open more. Then we'll release that right leg back to the mat, walking our hands back towards the front and releasing our head to the mat. Then when you're ready, we'll plant both hands to the mat again. Untuck our toe on that right side. Pushing our way back into that downward dog. Let's walk it out for like three breaths here. 
This is our last downward dog of the day. Breathe in here. Then we'll release ourselves totally to the front of the mat. Led to the mat here. Releasing our forearms to the front of the mat. Breathing here. Then we'll gently lift ourselves up into cobra pose. So just our forearms, chest, and, and back off the mat. Legs still planted to the mat. Then release our head back to the mat. Let's bring our hands, palm up so we can release the shoulders to the mat. Breathing here. Then let's bend on our knees, bringing our feet to closer to the back of the body here. And if this is enough for you, stay here and breathe. If you want to go deeper, see if you can grab a hold of your feet and breathe. Deeper stretching our hamstrings and lower back and shoulders. Then we're going to go a little bit deeper. If this is enough, stay here and breathe. But if you would like to go deeper, we're going to lift our chest and head off the mat and bring it toward the back of the body and stretching deeper in ourselves. So when you're ready, inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. We'll do that one more time. Go ahead and bend those knees back towards the back of the body. And again, if this is enough for you, stay here and breathe. If you want to go deeper, go ahead and see if you can grab hold of those feet. And breathe here. And if you want to go to the third level, when we inhale, we're going to lift that chest up. Bring it towards the back of the body for a deep stretch and squeeze in our back. So when you're ready, inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Allow ourselves to receive that energy that we just put in our back, that stretch. Then we'll extend our left hand straight ahead of us so we can roll over to our left side body. Create a bend in that right knee. Bring this left hand down to hold on to this left knee. And then we'll extend our hand up and across, twisting over into a supine twist. So allow our head to look over. Allow our hand to rest over. Just breathing here. Then we'll come back, this right hand back across, come into the front of our body and get the opposite side, extending this left hand up above us, bending on that left knee, bringing this right hand to that left knee, extending this left hand up and across and twisting open.
Then we'll bring his left hand back across and come on to the back of our body for Savasana, conscious resting, conscious receiving, conscious allowing. So here we'll keep our hands spread to the side, giving our body room to breathe, legs about hip distance apart, giving our legs room to breathe. And just rest. Now, if this is not for you, stay here and breathe. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. But if you're ready to come out, begin to bring awareness back into your body, back into your breath. Begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Bring your mobility and back into your body. Rotate your ankles, rotate your wrists. Gently hug your knees into your chest, rocking from side to side, all around. Give your back a mini massage here. And then just gently rock yourself up into a comfortable seated position. At this time, I bow to you. And thank you for clicking on this video and sharing this practice with me today. We are on day 22 of 30. If you like this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with a friend. But until next time, peace, love, and wellness.